Hi, my name is Loxman and this video is about how you can use Google Forms as a contact form for your website and let me tell you that it's the easiest way to use or create a contact form for your website and then it will be managed all through your Google account. So as you can see here, uh, this is the contact form for my blog and this contact form here, this is coming from Google Form and it as you can see the footer here so in this video I, we are going to make something like this and I'm going to make it for a website that I am currently writing contents for so I will be making a contact form with you in this video for this particular page here also let me tell you that I'll be writing a detailed blog post on how to use google form for your website for this particular video so in case you have got any confusions you can refer to this blog post later on or if i if i miss anything on this video i'll update on this blog later on okay let's get started so to get started you need to go to google docs or google forms which is the same thing uh, google forms is inside google docs is a part of google docs so you might uh, you if you already haven't got a google account you might need to create one and then just go to docs.google.com and then from here uh, you can choose forms so this is the landing page for google forms if you have already created previous forms then it will be here otherwise it will look something like similar like this so you can start from blank or you can also choose the available templates from the template library to save your time so for now i'll to save some time i'll just go with the contact information template available here and this is what it looks like i can rename it from here all right so uh, let's say It will be automatically saved and what before I start let me just change the appearance of this of the background or the color setting of this form uh, my website looks something like this this uh, it's more like more black and white color so what I'll choose is I won't put any theme header and then background color uh, so what I'll do is okay so now it looks plain and neutral only that uh, text is visible so this is what I like and I can also choose the font style from here so I'll just leave it for blank now and if you want to put some header or anything you can add it here as well so after this let's go and make some changes here so you can add the description here as well and let me write here send me send us some messages and you can write a description for this a name email address so i don't need address for my field so i can just tap on this and delete and i also don't need phone number so i can delete so instead of message i'll rename it to rename it to messages from comments and I'll mark it as required email is also required and name is also required so if I want to add any more fields here any more uh, contact fields then I'll just tap on add question and let's say if they if you want do you want to or let this the subscription and okay so google is a bit smarter so i'll just i won't make this required so this will be an optional field for the for the people for for the, for the visitor who wants to send me a message 
and after this uh, let's go and see what it looks like okay looks good so one more thing that I need to tell you here is if I go to settings let's go to the responses so if you want to collect email addresses and if you turn this on it will require so if I turn this on uh, uh, what will happen is and it will ask for the email address at the first is the first option here so you can see here currently the email is being asked while we have another email field as well and you can also change the confirmation message here thanks for contacting us we will get back to you soon okay and there are more settings here so if you want to collect email addresses by default if you turn this on it will ask you to ask the visitor to sign in first and also the also the emails email tab will be on the uh, email option will be on at the first of of the field here so after this so you can add more fields more text or video or anything here and once you are done you what you can do is you can add scripts if you want to make it more advanced you can print the form as well or you can make a copy uh, for now what i'll do is one more thing you can just add add uh, other people to this form so they can make changes as well so since we are adding this form to our website let's tap on send and uh, so if you tap on collect email so as i said before before it, the email option will be at the first so we are not collecting emails mm, so what we will go to so this is the link for link if you want to directly send this to anyone and we'll, we are embedding our form to our website so tap on copy and let's go to our web page or any website pages that you are currently editing so uh, so currently i'm doing this via my wordpress website it can be anywhere so what i'll do is i'll add a uh, html here and then let's update this page and let's go and see okay thing so what i can do what we can do is set width to 100 percent and you if you don't want the scroll bar uh, you can try increasing this height so this is it so, so let me try just filling something Okay, one more thing before I submit this page. Let me show you one thing. Um, what I am trying to show you is, we are trying to get email notifications for the new responses. So we will be notified by email when someone fills in the form. Okay, let me send this. So this was the costume message that we just added now let's go here it has been already recorded so we have received the inquiry here so what we can do we can get the summary or we can get it we can get the individual inquiry we can print it from here or we can delete it and we can view all the all the contact responses through spreadsheet as well so this will be done through the google sheet and this is uh, this this data you can use for multiple purposes so, so this is it your contact form is ready if you have got any comments leave it in the comment section below thanks for watching have a nice day